Yeah. Now, we'll take this opportunity. Usually, uh, it is the birthright of our journalists to ask questions. Not right to reverse the cycle today, is it? <laughs> Julian, you did mention about national, the politicians taking decisions in national interest. So, could you please define the national interest in relation to energy and indeed for that matter, solar energy? Well, look, when a Prime Minister and his Cabinet decide collectively to, to make a decision, uh, they weigh up the evidence that is presented from, at the moment we've got somewhere like 165,000 uh, public servants, maybe a few less recently, uh, and then obviously we listen to our scientists and they take a lot of collective advice, they filter that advice, uh, and then they make the decision. Um, most governments of both stripes have always acted in the national interest. And I think that's why we've got one of the greatest countries in the world, because it's worked. The Australian system of democracy, even with lobbyists, uh, has worked extremely has worked, has, has worked extremely well. And the floor of the state is in the building. Look, that's, that is so rare around the world. Journalists are usually not cheek by jowl with politicians. I mean, we're even in the ACT Assembly. So uh, it's very unusual. In most uh, countries around the world, the executive uh, is often separate from the parliament, but the journalists are with neither. But here in Australia, we're very blessed and lucky uh, with being in the building. Uh, and that helps us understand the national interest because it's in times of national security, etc., like World War II, Curtin, the Prime Minister for the majority of the war, invited the journalists in and gave them off the record background briefings of how they were running the war. And that was a wonderful way of dealing with the crisis. And obviously, the leader of the opposition in that case uh, was either Billy Hughes, Fadden, um, and would be briefed as well. And that system in Australia has worked. So when we say that they work for the national interest, um, I would like to think my colleagues here would, on the panel would agree that that is what the government does. Now, okay, we're talking about uh, rent scheme, which I, the Minister obviously hasn't made his mind up, and we have a diverse uh, group of opinions here on the panel. But I believe that when the government makes its decision, it will be in the national interest. They will, they, they will make their decision on the evidence available to them at the time, uh, and hopefully that will be years later we'll, we'll discover hopefully that will be the correct decision that they've made but unfortunately we won't know today we'll know tomorrow in the future but at the moment i think um that's that's what we can look forward to that they will they'll do the right thing by the country in the national interest and I think, uh,